In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up an SSH connection in PuTTY with X11 forwarding enabled. And in case you're not familiar, X11 forwarding allows remote windows on your remote server to be drawn on your local computer. And this is a lot more lightweight than installing a full graphical user interface desktop environment on your server. Instead of that, you can simply just forward your Windows remotely onto your local computer. And the application that's gonna run on Windows in this case is called Xming. And that's gonna be the thing that, um, or the program that draws those windows locally. It's gonna receive those forwarded windows and draw them locally. So let me show you how to do that. We're gonna start with a fresh SSH connection on PuTTY. And I have um, some server information here from Vulture. Uh, if you wanna spin up your own server with Vulture, I have some credits down below if you wanna do that. So I'm gonna copy the IP address here. The username is root. I'm gonna open up PuTTY, type in root at that IP address. And let's just call this Vulture. So we'll save that. And then we will open it just to make sure it works. Let's go back in there, copy the password and right click to paste hit enter, and we are connected to our remote server, which is Ubuntu. Now, if we wanted to test this out without Xming running locally on our computer, with which again, intercepts the remote windows, uh, we can try, but it's gonna fail. So there's this graphical text editor called gedit. If you wanna install it, you can do apt install gedit. Uh, I already have it on my computer, so nothing new will be installed, but let's, let's um, Let's try gedit, a file called test.txt. New file, let's see what happens. And it says, GTK warning, I can't even read that. The time cannot open display. And that's because we don't have, we haven't told PuTTY to forward our windows to Xming. So let's go ahead and get on out of here and download Xming. So I'm gonna open up Google Chrome. Just do a simple search for Xming, X-M-I-N-G. And this first link here at SourceForge is good. This is where you can download it from. Uh, so we'll download that. And that was pretty quick. So we'll open up the installer. And let's go through the setup here. So click Next. Default location's fine. Uh, let's see, most of these options are good. Hit Next, Next. That's fine, Next. Install and Finish. So the first thing I want to do is set up Xming with Xlaunch. So let's open that up. And pretty much in on this screen, uh, as we're configuring multiple windows is a good option for us. So click next, um, start no client, keep that default as well. We do want access to the clipboard, click next and then finish. So um, if you can see down here, Xming is running in the background. Xming server waiting for Windows uh, remote window requests to come in. Um, so let's tell PuTTY to enable that feature. So we'll open up our, our Vulture session here. We'll load that back up. And under the SSH section, if you go to X11, all we have to do is click enable X11 forwarding. So back in the session, let's make sure we save the Vulture session with X11 forwarding enabled. You won't see anything happen, but now um, you know, if we get back out of here, come back into PuTTY, load this up, we should see that tick, that uh, checkbox automatically ticked for us because we saved that session. Anyway, let's go ahead and open that up. We will go get our password from Vulture right here. We'll paste it in with a right click and connect. Now, if we try the same exact thing that we did before, gedit test.txt, Xming should receive that window draw request and display it on our local computer. And this isn't the, the fastest thing. It's not um, the most elegant solution, but it does work. So here we go. Here is our remote window. You can see the little bit of lag here. Let's type something. We'll say, hello world. Enter like, comment, subscribe. And Again, the lag is very evident. So there we go, we have that text input it in there. Let's save the file and then we'll get out of here. And back on our terminal session in PuTTY, we'll see that that file was actually created for us. 
And if we look at it, it's going to have the content that we actually typed in there. So uh, that's a basic example of how the, the Xming server works with X11 forwarding in PuTTY. There's also other things besides text editors that you can do. So um, there's a whole bunch of applications inside of the um, X11 apps package. So apt install X11 apps. I also already have this one. Um, one of them is the X clock. So if you type X clock, that's going to open up an analog clock in just a second. There we go. So there's your time right there. The server time looks like 9.15, 9.14. And then also you can do a full web browser, right? So I also have Firefox installed, apt install Firefox. And you can open up a new Firefox session with just Firefox, F-I-R-E-F-O-X. And as long as you have your X11 server running, Xming in this case, uh, that will eventually intercept that request and draw a full browser window for you. And there you can see that loading right now. This is loading directly from the browser. Let's see if it has enough um, bandwidth to open up Google. And I don't know if this is going to work out for us. It's pretty laggy. I don't know if that's a server resource issue or a bandwidth issue like I was hinting towards. Uh, but just know that it's not um, not the quickest thing. It's not the not the most elegant thing. But if if you do want to set up a full GUI on your remote server, say on Ubuntu, then I recommend that you check out this video right here or some of my other videos. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one.